do you think that Canelo will become a better fighter after his loss to Floyd? Fuck yeah, Floyd made him a better fighter. Beating yeah. that ass, oh, of course. Do you think he have a better hairdo? No, not better than mine. <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> <laughs> I guess he ain't got no better hair, dude. <laughs> ah! Ah! <laughs> now everybody knows it was a wig. Oh, 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 it's funny. That first when the motherfucker walked up here, I didn't see it. I didn't know it was you. I thought it was. I thought it was. I said, "Damn, I never seen a motherfucker with hair like that." Yo, <laughs> yo, when he walked in too, I said, "Who the fuck is that?" Hey, they let him yeah. know. Hey, I don't know how them throw up with them tracks and wigs on. <laughs> this shit got me sweating like shit. Look at this man. <laughs> Boy, they do a lot for their beauty. Yeah, they sure do. They take didn't up help whole, you any with your beauty though. They take up a whole lot of goddamn time. This shit is hot. Yeah, what do you think, Jad? Did it help him with his beauty? Hat. Look at him over white. I tell everybody that would listen, if it wasn't for Floyd handling Canelo the way he handled him, Canelo learned a lot from Floyd. Learned an awful lot from that one fight with Floyd. He he just Floyd turned the switch on. You know what I'm saying? And Canelo, if I'm Canelo, I be thanking Floyd every goddamn day for that ass when he put on me. Yeah, he should be giving me some money. Well, that too. You know? Because I have Floyd start boxing. <laughs> God damn. <laughs> 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 but, the, but, but in reality, that's the real deal. That's the real deal. What's up, baby? You. That's the real deal. If it wasn't for Floyd putting that ass whooping on Canelo, Canelo wouldn't have learned anything. That was a uh, an ass whooping of learning proportions. Yeah, learning proportions. You know? All right. All right. Thanks, champ. You're welcome. When I'm going to start getting paid, man. Oh, shit. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I do. Still think he's a cheater, but... Here's my thing, he couldn't knock out Triple G, couldn't even touch Floyd. Countless other people, people he couldn't knock out that smaller weights, like Flatline. Like Angulo, he stopped Angulo, but he, he, he hit Angulo with some monstrous shots and couldn't even put him down, they stopped it. He moves up to 175 to knock out a bigger guy with one punch, really, because he really ain't throw no punches. To the, you know what I mean? We'll hit him when, 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 yeah, like, like, like when he hit him clean, he knocked him out cold. Come on, man. People, use your common sense. Please. Please. But, but, but I do think he's gotten better since he fought Floyd. You know what I mean? Well, I told you what was going to happen. They are going to make sure Kovalev was. Where was the Kovalev at that fought me? I mean, he was throwing everything. was bombed. I'm like, whoa, whoa, whoa. Canelo, he fucking fighting Canelo like he his fucking brother or something. Like, Yeah, like they fucking related or something. He ain't throw one hard, mean punch. Get the fuck out of here. Like, <laughs> no, with me, he had the extra shit in the system. And with Canelo, he didn't. And Canelo did. That's why I don't feel bad for him. Woo! Canelo, you the man. Oh, didn't I? I said Canelo, didn't I? Yeah, didn't I know with Canelo? Know nobody that didn't say Canelo. Oh. <laughs> so. Well, we're talking about me. We ain't talking about everybody else. Uh, okay. But, yeah. But anyway. Okay. Do you think that the whooping or that he took from Floyd made him a much better fighter? Absolutely. I think so. I think so. I think so too. I hope I get to I mean, I think so because, I mean, somebody that's undefeated and then going against somebody like Floyd to lose against, of course, he, he worked on plenty of stuff after that, you know. What he, what he was lacking and what he can gain. So he, I think he learned from that experience. So, yeah. Okay, he, won. he learned something. 100% absolutely. Because until that fight, he didn't realize the uh, sweet science of boxing. Boxing isn't just about talent or speed or power. It's about those components that can't be measured. Floyd showed them foot speed, body positioning, 
extremely great defense, uh, not showing too much, getting from A to B very quickly. Floyd gave him a college degree. He gave him a master's degree in boxing that night. And Canelo, to his credit, took that lesson and blossomed from it. So congratulations to Canelo. I knew he'd beat Kovalov. After two Triple G fights, I knew he'd get Kovalov. And I, I even said late stoppage in that. Yes, definitely. The Floyd fight definitely boosted his boxing IQ. And he really put it on display that night. He really was calm. Kovalov was a little frantic in that fight. And Canelo was calm and sharp. And he executed. Oh, yeah, 100%. Yeah, after that fight, he you could see um, Canelo just, you know, imitating some of the moves that uh, Floyd did. Mm -hmm. So I feel like he learned a lot out of that fight. Yeah, man, he learned a lot, man. He took his ass to school, that's you what he him, said. You see him doing the shit, the Philly Rock. Yeah. You see that shit he yeah. doing? You see him using his job, being more patient. What else he doing? Setting up shots. You ever that. see this shit right here? <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, so, yeah. That's my favorite one. Alright. <laughs> if Floyd took to the school? Yeah, yes. When Floyd fought him, yes. he took him to school. Easy. I was at the fight, I boxed him that night. When Floyd boxed Canelo, he took to the school, right? He took Canelo to the school. Okay, yes. did it make him a better fighter? Yes, because Canelo, you know, always want to be good, want to be make, make history. He become fourth time division world champion, yes. Yes, it helped him get better. He get better. Oh, Can he beat John Bader? Who? Can he beat John Bader now? Oh, easy. Easy. But I don't know because I feel like he he's... He beat Spider-Man, though. I don't know. Spider-Man wrap his ass <laughs> up. All right. Yeah. Um, he learned so much in that fight, and you could actually see it in his next few fights afterwards. Like, he was trying to do stuff that Floyd does. And it turned him actually, instead of a, a guy that just comes forward and throws good body shots, it turned him into a thinking fighter. You know, he sets you up, he make, you know, he looks for stuff, he's patient to go round for round until he can get it. Um, he, you know, you gotta respect him because the way he fought when he first turned pro and the way he fights now is two different things. Um, you know, same way I think like Lomachenko learned from fighting Salido. He had to learn about the pro game against one of the roughest, rugged guys there is, and he turned that around. Um, yeah, no, definitely. Definitely, man. Oh, for sure, man. I mean, definitely he, 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 that fight changed Canelo, full game and mentality, you know, make him more, more mature, make him uh, to learn more defense, more counter punching. And of course, you can see Canelo, he's been growing from that loss against one of the best, you know, fighters ever in Floyd Mayweather. And, and now he's, he's, he's getting his fruits. So yeah, I think so. So you got the fruits of his labor. So yes, now he's very he's where he need to be. Of course, I made him a better fighter. Anytime you lose or have a tough fight, for that matter, you're going to learn something. I think it definitely elevated his game. Um, I mean, I don't know. We didn't see that much in this fight to me for, for Canelo, except for the very end, though. I, I don't think either one of them did very much. But obviously, when you're in there with someone like Floyd, you're going to get a get a, a quite a lesson. So yeah, of course he did. Yeah, you better fight now. Try. Right. Yes, I really do. I feel like I feel like Floyd schooled him, and then he learned from all his mistakes, and he became a better fighter, in my opinion. You know? Yep. Told you. God damn it. Yep. <laughs> yeah. Motherfucker. <laughs> of course, whether win or loss, you know he uh he kept getting better. Better with age, better with time, more experience. Whether he won or lost that fight, I don't think he had to do with that. He's gonna get better regardless. You hear that? All right, now go ahead and introduce everybody to you. What's up, y'all? It's Christopher, one shot love joy, the WBA sensation. 18 and 0, 18 knockouts. Number 10 in the world, WBA. Number three in the world, WBA. GBO heavyweight champion. Undefeated. One shot Giddy. Global boxing organization. Okay. GPO. Yeah, GPO. Yeah, what's happening? I thought that was a GPA. Yeah, so I'm out here, man. I'm campaigning, getting in magnificent shape. Uh, I'm at the Mayweather gym with Jeff Mayweather, and I'm just chilling, man, you know, getting ready. I got some big stuff lined up. I don't want to say no names. I don't like to spoil the show because I got them scared, you know what I mean? So I'm just chilling. What's up? You got them shook. Oh, I got them scared. Okay. You know, I got them scared. All right, Jeff. 
appreciate it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think uh, Canelo was young when he fought him, and he was up and coming, so it humbled him. And I think he, he learned a lot. Obviously, he hasn't lost since. I don't think he's going to lose. So I think it really helped him, you know, become a better fighter, especially working on his defense because he was getting countered so much with Floyd. So I think it helped him. It helped him, man.